Neeraj Arora, who is Director of Sales at Happy. Giving a brief introduction, he leads enterprise sales for Happy in South India. He has more than 12 plus years of experience working with large Indian banks and early stage startups. He started his career within financial market domain selling derivative solutions to enterprises and then towards SaaS solutions in the tech sector. He is a firm believer of SaaS ecosystem and the value it provides to the companies across the spectrum. Outside of his work, you will see him devoting time for reading books on the world history. With this, please welcome Mr. Deeraj with a huge round of applause. Thank you very much. First of all, many thanks to Mr. Krishnan. I love the presentation, especially when you talked about we need to look for techno-functional people, people who understand functional uh, function as well as technology bent of mind. That's the need of the hour. Thank you very much for that, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dheeraj Arora. I take care of enterprise sales for Happy in South of India. I know post-lunch sessions are generally tricky, so I will try to be as brief and crisp as possible. Now, when it comes to travel management or expense management, Right? Do you think that you can have 100% policy compliance? Do you think it's a dream or a reality? I would personally say dream for many, reality for some, and we will talk about it going further. Now, there is a study by Forbes. One non-policy compliant event can set back your finance team's productivity by 3x. Yes, so what it means? It means your finance team spending hundreds or possibly thousands of additional manas per annum. And of course, you don't want it. Now that we have established that policy compliance is extremely important, the point is, can you achieve it? Now, if you see in a typical organization, who do you put the onus of policy compliance on? It's largely the employee, right? He's the end user of the platform. He's also the first point of contact when it comes to the entire expense submission cycle. But can you really expect an employee to do an error-free submission to take care of all your internal organizational policies? I don't think so. That's simply not possible. So then what's the solution? The solution is automation. Easy to say automation, but automation of what? So I will talk about primarily four aspects. If you automate these four, four aspects, I'm sure you will achieve the end results. The first one is the data capture. The second one is the processes, approvals, and expense auditing. Let's go to the first one, which is the data capture. You know, like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, there were beautiful times when it came to expense submission. You simply take out your mobile, take a picture, and upload the expense, right? But nowadays, when it comes to a certain bill, you have your bills scattered all around, right? For example, you will have your bills in your emails. You will have in your travel apps like Uber or Make My Trip or Yatra kind of apps. Bills, the physical bills definitely exist. SMS, very interesting. You swipe your card anywhere, you get an SMS, right? So that's technically your bill statement. You, most of you will be using corporate credit card. Most of your expenses are lying within your credit card statement. And WhatsApp, right? I, I book my travel using one of the travel apps. I get all my invoices, all my bills on the WhatsApp, right? So this is another way of capturing the data. Now we will talk about how we will, using Happy, automatically capture data from all these sources. So the first one which I want to talk about is emails, right? Whether you're using Outlook or Gmail within your organization, any expense or any bill that you get on email, you have something called a Happy add-on which is available within your Outlook and Gmail. Just open up your email, click on the Happy add-on, and automatically whatever data is there in your bill that is automatically taken from your email and posted as an expense. That's it. It won't take more than 20 or 25 seconds for you to file an expense. Then come the next one, Uber. Everyone here must be using Uber, right? And especially if you have Uber for business account, complete your trip, push the data automatically to happen. Your expense is automatically created. Hard copy, I, I, I'm a big fan of hard copy still. But uh, one thing pe people find cumbersome is to take the data from the hard copy and keep on filling it, right? What Happy does is we have an OCR and we have an industry leading OCR. When I say industry leading, we have an accuracy level of up to 85 to 90 percent. And there's a reason for that, right? We use a lot of global technologies for this. For example, we have IBM Watson incorporated within our Happy app. We have Google Vision image recognition incorporated within the Happy app. And on top of that, we have in house technology as well. So we can easily assure you 85 to 90% accuracy on all your printed bills. 
The next one, this is very interesting. I was having a conversation with a lot of people at the booth outside and a lot of people loved it. There have been so many times that when you are on a trip or something, you use your personal card or your net banking account for some of those expenses, right? And every time you swipe your card or use any of your accounts, you get an SMS. If you look at it holistically, SMS is like your expense statement. It has most of the information that you need. Happy can read through your SMSs if you allow it and create automatically an expense item for you. The next one is again, most of you here are corporate credit card users. We have an integration with Visa cards, MasterCards, Rupee cards, and American Express. All the cards there is, the data automatically will flow from your credit card statements to your happy expense statement. The next one, uh, WhatsApp, I, I really love it, right? You get a bill on your WhatsApp or if you have it within your phone, just go to happy business account and upload the bill. As simple as this and your expense is created. So if you automate the data capture for from all these six points, we assure you an extremely low level of manual errors, extremely low level of fraudulent entries and extremely low level of policy violations. Now let's look at the next aspect processes and this is I would say where the action takes place as rightly mentioned here. By processes I mean largely your policy meters, right? So for example, let me take certain examples. You do your travel management, you have a policy, certain categories of employees cannot undertake a business travel, go set it up on the system. You have a policy, certain bands or grade of employees cannot exceed an allowance on a certain trip, go ahead and set it up within Happy, right? You don't have to worry about whether the policy is taken care of or not. Happy will make sure that these things are already in place. This is a very interesting feature and uh, before I explain you this, I'm right here to bet that this feature alone justifies the ROI that you spend on any expense automation application. I go to Mumbai, let's say I go ahead and book Taj Hotel, which is 20,000 rupees per night. The moment I'm about to book, the system will alert me saying, hey Dheeraj, in the vicinity where you're selecting your hotel, there's a corporate guest house, there is your company provided guest house. Why don't you go ahead and select it? Or in the vicinity or a radius of, let's say, a couple of kilometers, we have a similar hotel, similar rating, similar room at a cheaper price. Why don't you go ahead and take it? I tell you, bases are experience. We work with more than 2,500 companies when it comes to travel and expense automation. This base saving alert, both on the hotels and the flight booking, has saved tons of money to corporates. Again, certain other policy examples. So you can have uh, band-wise, grade-wise, BU-wise, different policy set up. What are the maximum expenses which are allowed on a particular trip? All these things can be set up here in the system. Uh, petty card, petty cash. So apart from travel and expense, we have a card management system as well. So when it comes to your petty cash expenses, Happy can provide you certain prepaid cards and you have a real time visibility and control of all the spends which are happening using those cards. Let's move to the next one, approvals. I personally hate approvals, but I understand they are very important in an organization. Uh, but approvers are also employees, right? they don't want to spend too much time on the expense submission of their subordinates and all, right? So how do we make life easy for them? So for all these approvers, if I'm an approver, this is how your dashboard looks like. Any expense submitted by any of your employee, system will tell you whether there is a violation, yes or no. If yes, do you want to go ahead with it or whatever decision you want to take. So saving time. It's all about saving time and time is money, as we say. Uh, Something like this one, uh, this is set up policy to, huh, okay, I, I love this part. Why do we need approvals in the first place? And I'm sure you will agree with me that 90% of all the expenses which happen within your organi organization, there, there are no policy violations on that. If there are no policy violations, why do you want manager to approve it? Why do you want finance to approve it, right? So typically you can set up using Happy smart audit system that if there is no pol policy violation, go ahead and automatically approve it. Same time for each and every one. If you follow practices like this, I'm sure your expense submission cycle, which in most of the organizations is somewhere between 20 to 32 days as per one of the service, can be brought down to somewhere between five to 10 days. And if you still want to go ahead with approvals, and if there are certain kind of deviations, you can go ahead and set up a deviation workflow. When it comes to deviations, deviations can be set up basis expense category, 
this is your bank, this is your grade, this is your BU, this is your department or a combination of all these things. The last one expense auditing, very, very important from a CFO point of view. Uh, while all these things are done, how do we make sure that the finance team doesn't spend a lot of time on this expense submission, right? We have something called a smart audit, right? So let's say I go for a client meeting and we consumed alcohol as well and I upload that bill. My manager doesn't notice it. The finance team doesn't notice it, but happy smart audit will notice it. So it will tell you the bill which has been uploaded. The bill also has a liquor bill in this. There's an alcohol in this, right? So how do we do that? We have certain keywords which you can define. There is a library of keywords. The system will scan through the bill, read all the words and match with all those keywords. So if there is a key, keyword match that alcohol is there, it will show the finance team was the smart audit had failed, right? And again, this is one of the features which again can save tons of money for you. Like if you see here, alcohol detected out of policy, laundry detected out of policy, these kind of things can come here. This is also something which is very interesting. Uh, I don't know, for the lack of better word, okay, I should use the word cost leakage. I was about to say fraudulent entries, but yeah, that's not very much appreciated. I should say cost leakages. Now, there can be a scenario where I upload the same bill twice, maybe six months apart. System here will notice it. But there can be even a difficult scenario where two different employees in two different departments or BUs, they upload the same bill, maybe let's say a year apart. System again will notice it. So within halfway, we save all your seven years of data and across that entire span, we make sure that there are no duplicate bill submission. Right. So this is largely it. I hope you agree with me when I say that if you automate all those things, 100% uh, policy compliance is possible. If you agree with me, please do come visit our booth. We will have further discussion. If you do not agree, still please do come. We will have further discussion at the booth. Thank you very much.